Okay, so far we have seen some of the ways that NASA uses composite materials, but NASA is not the only organization to be using them. Nah, there are many industries that use them too, like the auto industry. Whether it's a huge car company or a startup, all of them are looking for ways to combine strength with weight reduction to make their cars more efficient. One company called Edison 2 is taking that weight reduction to the limit. They have developed a car for the very light car category of the 100 miles per gallon XPRIZE competition that they feel is the most efficient auto platform ever built. This little car is amazing. It takes design cues from some of the top race cars in the world, while also being incredibly safe with phenomenal mileage. I spoke with my buddy Oliver Kutner to find out more about it. So this is the VLC? Yep, a very light car. Very light car. Tell us all about it. Well, we, we were trying to uh, build the most efficient car. Uh, it's designed to be a two or four seat car. And uh, it gets 111 miles per gallon combined EPA, 129 on the highway. And we did it by basically building the lightest possible car with the lowest aerodynamic drag. The car substitutes pressure drag for friction drag, like an airplane or a rocket would. You know, these race cars are carbon fiber, and you know, it was, this was a race for a lot of money, so we didn't leave any stones unturned. <laughs> what it really is, it's kind of like space exploration. What we try to do is to depart from the ordinary and build it very light. And the auto industry has a very difficult time doing it because of all the legacies, the large corporations and the huge amounts of money involved in making a major shift. And this car demonstrates that the shift exists. Can you tell us some about the materials that you use to build this car? It's, it's steel, aluminum and carbon fiber and uh, just using it wisely where necessary. Um, it's a steel chassis car, but it's a carbon fiber bodied car and the, the wheel centers are carbon in this case. Do you have any examples or something you can show us? Here, here's an example. The wheel is uh, unsprung weight and it's rotating mass. So we actually have the, the center of the wheel out of carbon. Okay. And the outer part is a cast magnesium piece and the inner part is a machined aluminum piece. Huh. Um, All together, I think this is a six pound or seven pound wheel. <laughs> and you know, you know it's, a, it's an example of using more difficult and more costly materials where their payback is greatest. And um, in okay. this case, mm -hmm. It, it's, it was worth it, we felt, so that's why we did it. A car is a series of compromises, and um, you know you, you, you have to also balance cost in all of this. So while we all want a super hot rod that's all carbon fiber, which might be the best solution, it may not be the most realistic if you want to sell a million copies. So you, so you put your trump card material where it makes the biggest difference. So Oliver, tell us how you got the idea for this car. Uh, it was the X-Prize. I mean, the X-Prize said, you know, you can win $10 million if you build the most efficient car. And then I went to my good friend, Ron Mattis, uh, who's a longtime American Le Mans series and Le Mans race car designer engineer. And uh, he basically reeled me down to reality. There's, hmm. there's no substitute for efficiency in the platform, and that's what this is. Can you tell us how it works? Well, in this case, we have a gasoline-powered engine. It's, it runs on E85, and, uh, but this car can be run any, on any fuel source. It could be a diesel car, it could be a gasoline-only car, it could be a hybrid, an electric. The efficiency comes out of the design of the car itself. That's what does it. Is it powerful? Uh, it's quite powerful. It, yeah. it doesn't have that much horsepower, but it's quite quick and it handles extremely well. The NASA programs have been really crucial to a lot of material science and how we do things. And in certain industries, they've changed the way th things are done. Hmm. But in automobiles, we've kind of missed the mark. And in many ways, we're still building the same 4,000 pound car to move the, the 200 pound person. If we embrace this as a method of how to build cars, regardless if they're electric, hybrid, diesel, gasoline, the United States of America could become an oil exporting nation. Just embracing the principle of this, the efficiency would be a leap from what is today. Alvin, thank you so much. You know, I look forward to driving one of these VLCs. You thank know, you. maybe a basic black. Next time you come, we'll have one for Please, you. Please make, sure, yeah, right. make sure it's all glossed up for me. Okay. Hey, good luck with everything. It's good. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Thanks, man.